Hi, preschoolers, and welcome to our Read Aloud today. Um, we're continuing our study on insects, and today we're going to read a book called What Do Insects Eat? Hmm. Think about that for a second. Take a moment and think about what do you think insects eat? What are some things they might eat? Well, we know our butterflies, they liked fruit and flowers because of the nectar. Hmm. I wonder what other kind of insects what they'll eat. Hmm. Let's find out. All right, let's share our screen, do all the things. All right, here we go. What are insects? Insects come in different shapes and sizes. Butterflies are insects. They don't look anything like beetles. Beetles are insects too. Aphids are tiny insects. They are much, much smaller than a pencil eraser. And dragonflies are large insects. Their wingspan can be half the length of a pencil. All insects have hard shell-like skeletons that cover the outside of their bodies. This is called an exoskeleton. Can you say that to the ceiling? Exoskeleton. Can you say it to the floor? Exoskeleton. And can you say it to your finger? Exoskeleton. Insects have three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen, two antennae, and six legs. And almost all of them have four wings. The life stages usually are an egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Some insects live underground. Some live buried beneath tree bark. Others live in the water. Insects are found in many different environments and habitats. They also eat many different types of food. Some insects eat plants, some eat meat, and others drink nectar from flowers. Over time, each kind of insect has developed special mouth parts that allow it to feed. Some insects have powerful jaws. They bite and chew their food like you. Other insects suck up their food. Chewing insects and sucking insects have special features depending on what type of food they eat. Insects don't have teeth. Instead, chewing insects have powerful jaws made up of two mouth parts, including mandibles. Mandibles are used for grabbing, holding, and chewing food. We have a mandible here. This is part of our jaw. This bottom part is your mandible. Our jaws move up and down. The jaws of chewing insects move side to side. Dragonflies eat other insects. They are meat eaters or carnivores. A single dragonfly can eat more than 30 mosquitoes a day. Ladybugs are insects in the beetle family. They also are carnivores. They love to eat plant-sucking insects called aphids. Grasshoppers are chewing insects called herbivores, meaning they only eat plant material. The mouth parts of some insects have developed into hollow tubes. They're drinking straws called a proboscis. They suck nectar from flowers. Butterflies and moths have a long tube, just like I said, called a proboscis. Blood suckers. Some insects have mouth parts with hollow tubes, but they like to suck on humans like mosquitoes and lice and things like that. Their proboscis stays out, which is why when you see a mosquito, it has that long thing coming out. Whereas a butterflies and a bee bumblebees, their proboscis rolls in. Aphids and sap suckers, these tiny little insects, suck the juices of leaves or flower petals. So they like the honeydew, which is why it's always good to have ladybugs in your garden because they'll eat the bugs that are trying to eat your garden. Spongers. Spongers are insects that have special mouth parts like sponges. The housefly is a sponger. They spit on a piece of food, it liquefies it, and then they suck it up through the little tube. Changers. Many insects have different mouth parts at different stages in life. Each egg hatches and becomes a larva. The larva grows a protective covering and starts to change inside. It is then called a pupa. The adult comes out of the pupa. Some insects do not have a pupa stage. The larva grows and sheds its exoskeleton again and again until it's an adult. A caterpillar in the larva stage of a monarch butterfly, it has biting and chewing jaws. But as it goes into the adult, it has a proboscis. Oh man, this is kind of cool. So here it says this activity will help you compare and contrast, which means to say they're similar or the same or that they're very different. So it says here, I have chewing mouth parts. So that would be an aphid and that would be a grasshopper and that would be a dragonfly. I have um, sucking 
mouth parts. That would be a butterfly. And yeah, and I eat plant material. So that would be the aphid, grasshopper, butterfly. And then I eat other insects would be the dragonfly and the light bug. The end. So that was the end of our story about what insects eat. So it seems like insects eat plants. Some are carnivores, so they eat other insects. Some are sponges, sponge eaters, and they kind of, whatever they land on, they kind of eat. So it kind of could be a mixed bag of what they're eating. Um, and some eat like the, they suck the juices from a plant, which can be bad for your garden, which we'll learn about. Hope you enjoyed this book and I'll see you later. Bye.